Hi guys, in today's class, we are going to be discussing crude oil and petroleum. Jima Sekirula Adio is my name. At the end of today's class, you should be able to define crude oil, state and explain the method used in refining crude oil. Also, state, state the importance of crude oil to Nigeria economy. Let's proceed. Introduction. Crude oil is a natural occurring thick blackish colored liquid it is a fossil fuel that is it is very old and is made up of remains of dead organism usually an agi which have been trapped and buried underneath sedimentary rock they have been on they have undergo changes under heat and pressure to form crude oil and it is it worth to know that the world uses about 90 million about 90 million barrels of crude oil per day it is the main sources of non-renewable energy that is energy that cannot replenish itself after it has been used up it is probably the most valuable resources in the world the the economics the economy of developed and developing country depend on crude oil and petroleum products crude oil extraction crude oil is pumped from deep below the surface through wells which have been drilled either on the surface earth surface or the ocean floor it is refined and separated by fractional distillation in refinery separation of petroleum components of petroleum petroleum are separated using a technique called fractional distillation that is that is the process of that is the process of separating liquid mixture into fractions differing in boiling point by means of distillation typically using fractionating coulomb after the processes the petroleum products include petrol which will majorly use various machines and vehicles diesel also used by vehicles kerosene engine oil and grease asphalt used in construction chemicals such as plastic such as chemicals used in plastic industry and pharmaceutical raw materials too refining crude oil refine means to make it purer and this is the process of turning crude oil to useful petroleum products in refinery refining is a chemical pro processes which relies in the prop in the prop which on the properties of hydrocarbons that is compounds of hydrogen and carbon atoms which are linked together in a chemical chain called a molecule the longer and heavier molecule are transformed into lighter ones and the other way around from the diagram that you can see on your screen that's the example of fractional distillation distillation column whereby if you put your crude oil the crude oil is put in heated in a eating furnace and the uh, heat is, is then applied and various components will begin to emerge at various degree centigrade where uh, by that diagram you will see that butane and propane will emerge at 20 degrees centigrade while petrol emerge at 150 degree centigrade while kerosene is 200 degree centigrade don't forget that of water is 100 degree centigrade and so on till you have your lubricating oil paraffin wax and asphalt let's proceed petrochemicals and from what we discussed before Petrochemicals are chemical products made from petroleum. They are divided into three based on chemical structure. And you, you remember that in that slide, we showed us that, that those that we emerge first, that is butane and propane and other products, they are the ones that are usually referred to as petrochemicals. Number one, we have they are they are basically divided into three 
based on their chemical structure, which include synthesized gas, that is ammonia, which are used in making fertilizers and fertilizers, and methanol used as a chemical solvent. We also have aromatic hydrocarbon, such as benzene, used as raw materials in dyes and detergent in those have polyphenes which are akins example include ethylene and propylene butadiene is also among etc which are important raw materials for plastic and rubber industry chemical chemical petrochemicals products apart from fuel which is the major uh, product of crude oil. We also have uh, products which include waste, polish of different of different type. We also have plastic of various forms, and we also have synthetic rubber of various forms, as you can see from those pictures. Importance of crude oil to Nigeria economy. Crude oil is the major contributor to Nigeria's GDP that is gross GDP, that is gross domestic product since it was discovered in 1956 it provides employment opportunity for nigerians it it serves as foreign exchange it is a great source of energy it provides raw materials nigeria produce only high value low sulfur content and light crude oil it makes Nigeria popular among other countries because Nigeria is the largest oil producing country in Africa and the sixth in the world. Summary of our discussion. We've explained to us that crude oil is a natural occurring thick blackish colored liquid formed from plants and animal remains. It is extracted or pumped from below the earth's surface Crude oil is separated to, to various components by means of fractional distillation in refineries. Various products are getting from crude oil, which include plastic, paints, etc. Nigeria is a major producer of crude oil, being, being first in the in and sixth in the world. Nigeria economy relies on money and from crude oil exported assignment differentiate between crude oil and petroleum products describe the method used in refining crude oil state importance of crude oil to me